Good day everyone, this is Sharif. Today I'll be showing you how to configure a Cisco router to be a frame relay switch. Uh, the basic uh, concepts of frame relay switching is that DLCs are used to uh, tell the router which interface should uh, the frames be going out through. This is for the routers, but in case of the frame relay switch, it has to know which DLC is coming in and to which interface and other DLC it will be going to because DLC is mainly on the router is locally significant uh, which means that if R2 wants to send frames to R4 it's going to use DLC 204 uh, this will tell R2 to uh, for example use sub-interface 0.0.2 to send frames out to R4, but for the frame relay switch, it, it has to know that 204 is coming from here and it's going to R4 on this DLC, uh, which is 402. So let's begin with the basic configuration of the frame relay switch. First of all, get into the global configuration mode, and to enable frame relay switching in a router, you type, you just type the command frame relay switching. That's all you need to tell the router that it's uh, in a frame relay switching mode. Second thing is you have to see which interface you want to configure first for switching DLC. I'm going to configure R2 first which is on uh, connected to the frame relay switch through serial 0 slash 0. So you go into interface serial 0 slash zero and the frame relay switch has to take control of the clocking and to do that we type uh, frame relay uh, pr I forgot to say that we have to set the encapsulation of the interface of course to frame relay uh, and for the frame relay switch to take uh, clocking the first thing you do is you type uh, uh, interface frame relay interface type DCE this tells the frame relay switch that it's in charge of the clock uh, second thing is we start to route DLCs to each other uh, for example if we want R2 to connect to R4 first uh, we type frame relay route del C 204 to interface serial 0 slash 1 because we want 204 to be connected to R4 here serial 0 slash 1 to del C 402 and if you want R2 to connect to R3, we type frame relay route uh, 203 to interface serial 0 slash 2 to del C302. And that's it. Then we unshut the port. I guess it was already unshut. Uh, then we head to R3. It's repetitive. All you have to do is know the concept and just apply it in all directions. So we go to interface to 0 slash 2. We type encapsulation, frame relay. Then we uh, tell it to take control of the clocking. Interface type DCE and route. to interface serial 0 slash 0 to 203 it's the other way backwards as you can see from this command 203 to 302 this is from 302 to 203 simple as that and frame relay route 304 to interface 
interface 0 0 slash 1 2 4 3 no shut and for interface 0 0 slash 1 encapsulation frame relay frame relay interface type DCA frame relay route follow to to interface 0 0 slash 0 to 204 and we route the last one which is follow 3 to interface 0 0 slash 2 to 304 and that's all it takes on the frame relay switch so it's switching between all these routers and PVCs uh, let's get to R2 and start configuring it uh, we're gonna configure we have only one interface 0, 0, 0 but we're going to create a point to point sub interfaces one interface is go heading for R4 and the other one is heading for R3 so first of all we get under interface 0, 0, 0, 0 and we got encapsulation frame relay and unshut it then we go into interface sub interface 0, 0, 0, 0.1 and and as you can see we have multi point and point to point we're going to use point to point sub interface and for this one we're gonna identify the LC203 we're gonna type frame relay interface delc 203 and 203 uses the subnet uh, of 192.168.2.1 as you can see here <coughs> so we're going to use the IP address of 192.168.2.1 for the subnet master 30 bits um, This is for DLC203, and we go to create another sub interface which is interface 0, 0, 0 0.2, and it's going to be a point to point sub interface. Uh, we type frame relay interface DLC, which will be 204. And this one will connect it to uh, router, router 4, and the IP address will be 192. 168.1.1 Good. This is the configuration R2. Let's go to R3. As you can see, it's it's repetitive. Uh, there's no too much thinking about it. Encapsulation, frame relay. Let's unshut it. Interface zero zero slash zero point one point to point uh, frame relay DLC interface DLC will be three oh two and three oh two has the IP address of one eighty two one sixty eight dot two dot two and a subnet of 30 bits and sub interface 0, 0, 0, 0.2 will also be point to point frame relay del C interface del C will be 304 and the IP address of 304 192.168 192.168.3.1 and this is all the configuration we need on R3 we type to IP interface brief we can see that sub interface 0, 0, 0, 0 
0.1 is already up because it's connected to R2 but we didn't yet configure deltas on R4 so that's why the protocol and the state it is down here it till we finish configuring the three of them we'll see the rest of the show commands configuration interface 0 0 slash 0 encapsulation frame relay no shut interface 0 0 slash 0 point 1 point to point and the frame relay interface delta for this one will be 402 and for 402 we have an IP address of 192.168.1.2 subnet mask of 30 bit and for interface 0.0.0.2 uh, it's a point to point you have to type that the frame relay interface delta um, will be 403 and the IP address three will be one ninety two one sixty eight dot three dot two and we're done. So if we type show frame relay map we can see that the last one is still not active here but it's telling us that it's a point to point the delta is four well three which connects us to router three here and this one is delta 402 which connects us to R2 let's type the command again to see if anything is working show IP interface brief um, I guess the protocol is not running interface is again frame relay map ah uh, let's see delete it let's see from the other one here show I can be brief ah uh, we forgot to unshut most of these guys I guess no it's only uh Serial zero slash one is administratively down. So let's go to interface serial zero slash one and type no shut. I guess of course it's supposed to work now. Uh, you can see it turned from deleted to inactive. Still inactive, but it's supposed to work now some point. We we'll leave it till it takes its time. And you we'll see here show frame frame relay map. Both of them are active. We show IP interface brief. We have two subnets. We started to ping the other way, which is ping one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot two dot two which is R three you can see it successfully pinging. Um, this one is supposed to be, yeah, you can see here the line protocol on PC0 slash 0 is up. And both of them are active. We pinged R2, which is 192.168.1.1. It's pinging. And the other one here is 3.1. They're all pinging each other. Uh, this is how we configure frame relay switch. Thank you very much.